There's Rafael Hernandez, Mr. Meatmaster, so you guys get to know me. Look at all the background, the stuff we've been doing, videos, uh, traveling around the world. But what happens behind closed doors, guys? So Mr. Meatmaster brand was brought up about back in 2018. And look, this is the background of Mr. Meatmaster. Who makes it happen? The ethical cattle farming, the uh, look up, uh, you know, looking up everything we have to do for the brand, uh, marketing side, social media side, administration side. Who does that? What's in the background? I want to present to you my family who helps me run this and who will make sure that this dream gets up there and open. So actually, we have here Ceci. Ceci's our creative director. Ceci, say something. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm Ceci, and I help with just the way you guys see us online, see us in person, anything from events. Um, you know, I help with the creative design that I work really closely with my graphic designer literally love him so much he helps me with making sure that you guys can see more than what it is which is beef we tell the story with just a, a single picture i don't like to be the same as everybody else i want to make sure that this brand is you know visually represented the best way possible so i make sure that that happens um along with the the visual yeah. you know the the way that my dad uh sees it i want to make sure that this dream succeeds and it's become our dream too so well guys so ceci has been with us five years now and she's pretty much the creator of the brand came up with you know she said that we have to create a brand uh social media marketing i don't know what that was so look we're doing it now and i think we're pretty good at it we created a great team here we have a uh, you know more than 12 people working for us but this is the head of the company. Now we have Lexi, administration, a little shot. You know, she's been with us eight years now. Lexi, say a little something. Hi, I'm Lexi. <laughs> uh, I take care of, well, like you said, the administration, the accounting. I mean, basically everything in the office, everything is my job. But um, mainly, you know, lately I've been taking care of the logistics and the administration and anything as far as you know cleaning the coffee machine cleaning the kitchen uh to getting containers for a japanese order for an australian order um so pretty much everything she's the big dog in the office <laughs> <laughs> so guys it's been an amazing journey and, and i think we told you guys before we come from very humble beginnings i'm 50 years old i'm going to present to you my wife my better half in a minute but more than anything guys uh, we grew up in migrant workers uh my family, her family, we've been married 30 years now, and she, I've known each other since she was three and I was six years old. So it's an amazing thing, and uh, she does a lot of philanthropy. We wanted to give back. Paula, what are you doing, little? Hi, I'm Paula Hernandez. I am, uh, like he said, his better half. <laughs> uh, what I do for the company, pretty much um, everything that he needs me to do. I'm kind of his personal assistant. Uh, do everything that they need here and yeah, the extra stuff. Uh, but my main source now that the girls have joined the company and are pretty much running it with him, I, uh, I went into philanthropy. Um, I love giving back to the community. Uh, we've been helping the YMCA. We've been helping the, uh, the Lotta Hill Police Department. Um, I don't, it, it just having our background just made me, you know, yeah, support everybody. Um, made you want yeah. Yes, made me want to help. Well, we talked about this too, you know, having to be from a, from a bi migrant worker, a Mexican-American guy, so we grew up this way. You know, having someone at 10 years old not having to afford a camera, a bike. I think someone asked me before, Rafael, you have some pictures of you back in the fields? I went and asked my mom and I said, Mom, how about some pictures from back in the day? She said, Son, we couldn't afford a, a phone. You think we're going to have a camera? So <laughs> it, it was crazy. So she wanted to give back and said, hey, I want to have that 10-year-old, that 12-year-old that couldn't afford a bike like we couldn't do it. I want to give it to them. So that's where we are. That's what we're doing. And look, lastly, uh, I want to present to you our youngest one as well. She's uh, She's been trained right now. We have her answering the phones because everybody gets to work in this family. And uh, Zary, how are you? Hi, I'm Zary Hernandez. Uh, <laughs> what do you do here? I answer the phones. <laughs> <laughs> and they need help. <laughs> um, like my father said, I basically, I answer the phones when they need help. Um, you believe this company you make I the was, environment better? I, yeah. Everybody do, loves yeah. the office. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like the little joy around the office. Yes. Well, guys, that's really the family, whoever runs. We've been in business for about 12 years now. Very excited. New changes coming up. New sports, new events, new teams. Big surprises coming up. So I wanted to show you guys why we have this chance, why I have this chance to go around the world, audit ranches, farmers, 
get this ethical, ethical cattle farming. We got big surprises and emission stuff coming up also. Making changes to the world, to the beef industry. And we got the family support behind us. Mexican American, happy to be part of that. And look, all we do is know how to work. Right, guys? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see you around. So, guys, <laughs> take care, guys. Bye.